Okay, so hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Control Console API to your PS3 and your PC so you can do those RTMs. <laughs> yeah, so um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to this link that I'm going to send you, it's a Brewology link, and then you're going to want to click on this to download it. It'll bring you to the Mediafire um, website and you just download it from there. So once you're done downloading it, you'll have a raw file that looks like this. Um, open it up. And inside you have control console 2.60 so first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pc folder and you're going to want to click on cc api setup version 2.6 so it'll extract itself once you click it and then installer should run so just um press yes on the administrator box that comes up So um, for me, because I've already installed it, it's done, um, and it's asking this, so let's just see what happens if I press repair. Alright, no, so let's not click repair. Alright, for you guys, just run through the installer, blah, 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 yeah, it should look like this. Um, install it where you want to install it, and then if you want to create a desktop icon, and then, yep, yeah, when you get to the end, press install. I've already done it, so I won't. I'll press cancel, but when you guys are done you can continue on with the tutorial so um now that you've done that you're going to want to go back to the raw package you had and go to the ps3 folder open that up and then in here you get the um installation for the uh the package file for the control console for the ps3 just copy that to a usb on your computer so let's go to my usb So you just click and drag it onto the USB, and then it's asking me if I want to replace it. I'm going to press no, but you guys shouldn't get this box, it should copy straight in. Once you're done, take your USB out of the computer, plug it into your PlayStation, and um, now let's head over to the PlayStation quickly. So now that you're on the PlayStation, what you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to go over to the install package files menu. So you guys should know how to do this, just go down to your package manager if you're on Rebug or install package files on the normal. Then install package files anyway, standard location for Rebug. And then scroll down until you find the um, control console installer which is this one here the xx0001 einstone uh sorry endstone um yeah if you can read it just press install on that i've already got it installed i'll just replace it why not all right so then it'll show up on your xmb like this and then now you're going to want to open it up So just press OK, and then it'll ask if you're sure you want to install. Just press OK on that, and then it'll say it's commands completed. OK to reboot. So now your console should reboot. Alright, now it's rebooting, look up in the top right corner of the console where you get your messages from PlayStation or friends and all that. And it should say that message has just come up and then you know you've got it installed. Now, go back to the PC for a minute and I'll show you how to use the client. So you're going to want to find wherever you installed your control console. To okay, so... For me, it's um, here, the uh, Control Console API. So what you're going to want to do is now open it, like so. And um, yeah, let's delete this. So what you're going to want to do is then go back to your PlayStation, and you're going to want to find out um, 
your PlayStation's IP. So go all the way over to the left, which is the settings, and then go all the way down to network settings. And then you're going to want to click on settings and connection status list. And in this menu, you will see your PlayStation's IP. So for me, it's 10.0.0.13. So for you guys it might be something along those lines or it might start with 192.168 doesn't matter it works the same way so copy it um, or write it down or something then come back to your your control console manager client and you're going to go file add new console type in the name you want for it so let's go tutorial and for the IP you're going to write the IP that says so 10.0.0.13 for me press OK and now what we're going to want to do is you're going to right click on it and go connect and it should say connected to tutorial so now to check if we're connected you can press refresh and as you can see it shows you my system firmware my um the temperatures let's say you wanted to make sure again if you still don't believe it you can come here ring the buzzer so just go and you can hear it beep or do a double beep or continuous yeah, it gets annoying. So just go single again. You can change the color of your LEDs if you want, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, this is where you can change your console IDs. You don't need to do that either. But um, yeah, so that's just for the end of the tutorial. That's to show you guys how to install CC API. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll be making a video on how to RTM with an RTM tool later on so if you guys want to see that stay tuned all right guys peace